Take a moment, see yourself sitting here, feet on the floor, back against the chair. We're going to slowly grow roots out of our feet, and grow them down in search of the waters below. So grow the roots down through the floor, down through all the voids beneath you until you get to the basement, then down through the basement, through the soil beneath your building, and push them down deep into the earth, around the rocks, around the boulders, and keep pushing them down until you can find that bedrock far below. And when you find that bedrock, spread the roots out, searching for the crisp, cool pool of water far beneath the earth. The waters of chaos, the waters of potential. And as you reach around and you find those waters, put your roots in them and slowly start to bring these waters up into your bodies. With each and every breath, bring the waters up through the roots and up further and further. Bring them up to your feet and into your legs. Feel these cool waters coming up into your loins and your belly, filling you with the cool waters from below. Waters of power and chaos. As you breathe further, bring them further up into your chest, into your head. And as you keep on breathing, continue to pull these cold waters up into your body till they come out of your head and out of your hands and back into the earth. Feel these waters running throughout your body, filling you with the energies from below. Now, we reach up to the sky. We're going to grow branches up from our hands and up from our heads. You grow them up through the ceilings and up through the roofs, up into the sky, looking for that one star directly above our heads. Go up through the clouds till we can find that one star. We're going to reach up to that star. We're going to pull down the fires from above the warm fires of order. Again, a power of potential. We bring these fires down to our branches. Feel these warm flames coming down into our heads and into our chests. Feel these flames mingle with the waters that we brought from below as we breathe and bring the fires down further into our bellies, into our loins. As we breathe, we keep on bringing these fires down further into our legs and into our feet. Feel these fires from above mixing with the waters from below. With each breath, bring the waters up and the fires down and mix them throughout your body. Feel the powers of order and chaos mixing. Feel the raw powers of potential filling your body. Take of these all that you need. Bring yourself to your normal center. Then bring yourself just a little bit further. Drink deep of these powers. And when you're ready, push the waters back down into the earth. Push the fires back up into the sky. And know that if you ever need these powers ever again, you can always reach down, always reach up. They're just right there whenever you need them. But for now, bring your roots on in, bring your branches on in. Take a deep breath in and out, in and out. And when you're ready, open your eyes, prepare for the ritual. As always, our first offerings to the Earth Mother. You surround us, support us, feed us, shelter us. Without you, we could not be here. Without you, we would not survive. You're the mother of all, you're the start of all. And to you, we give you this offering. Say, Earth Mother, accept our offerings. 
Earth Spirit, accept our offerings. Here to honor the gods, the land spirits, and the ancestors. But first, let us hallow our hallows. Mighty well, you reach far beneath the earth, you go into the land of the ancestors. You are a pathway to the underworlds and to the dead. To you, we give the silver, and we say sacred waters flow within us. Sacred waters flow within us. Mighty fires, you burn and transform. You take our offerings high into the sky to the lands of the shining ones. You are a gateway to the heavens. To you, we offer this incense. We see the sacred fires burn within us. Sacred fires burn within us. A mighty tree, your roots run deep into the earth, to the wells and the ancestors far below. Your branches run high into the sky, to the shining ones and the heavens far above. You are a pathway between all the worlds. We give you water from the wells and incense from the fires. We say sacred tree grow within us. Sacred tree, grow within us. And in each of our homes, the light of the water, the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. By the light of the water and the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. By the light of the water and the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. So be it. So be it. Now we call on the gatekeepers. To all of you who have aided us in the past, we call on you once more to aid us. You have opened the ways before, and we ask you to open them again. We ask you to watch over us as we do our work this evening. We ask that you guide us and direct us to where we need to go. We ask you to ward us and protect us as we do the work. We ask that you take our messages far and wide and that you bring back to us all that we need to hear. For all that we ask of you, gatekeepers all, accept our offerings. Gatekeepers all, accept our offerings. Now gatekeepers, join your magic with ours and in each and every one of our homes, let our wells open as gates to the underworld, let our fires open as gates to the upper worlds, and let our trees be the crossroads between all the worlds, open to our spirits and open to our voices. Let the gates be opened. Let the gates be opened. Now, let's call to the ancestors. To all of you who have come before us, those of you of our families that have come before, we offer you welcome. Those of you who we've chosen as friends and inspiration and mentors, our chosen family, we offer you welcome. And to all of you of this very earth, you who are here long before us, we offer you welcome. Come and join us at all of our fires. Ancestors, accept our offerings. Ancestors, accept our offerings. And land spirits, be you of the animal kin, the fur, the feather, the scale, to all of you, we offer you welcome. To the plant kin, leaf and twig, stem and flower, we offer you welcome. To all the unseen kin, our house spirits, our land spirits, and all of those who inhabit this very earth, we offer you welcome. Come. And join us by our fires. Land spirits, accept our offerings. Land spirits, accept our offerings. And of course, shining ones. Our patrons and matrons, you who watch over us in our daily lives, we offer you welcome. To all of you of this earth who are here before us, we offer you welcome. And to all of you who watch over us, but we are unaware of your presence. 
the unknown deities. We offer you welcome. Come, and join us by our fires. Shining ones, accept our offerings. Shining ones, accept our offerings. And now, if you have offerings to make of our own, please feel free to make them. Especially to those in El Paso and Dayton who are dealing with the tragedies of the weekend. May the kindred watch over you, give you the strength where needed. There are no further offerings to be made. Mighty kindred, gods, land spirits, ancestors, we have given to you. We have called you here. We give to you one last time. And with this offering, we ask that you accept our offerings and that you give us blessings in return. Mighty kindred, accept our sacrifice. Mighty kindred, accept our sacrifice. And mighty kindred, we now ask what blessings do we receive in return? The ancestors. The ancestors give us answers. The ruin of communications of deity. The land spirits. The land spirits give us the ruin of cycles, yera. Cycles and harvest. And the shining ones. The shining ones give us Burkana, the root of new beginnings. This is telling us to listen. It's telling us to listen to what's happening around us. Listen to the earth, the cycles and the harvest, all that comes with the earth. And as you listen, when you see that opportunity for a new beginning, take it. I think these omens are good. Do we accept these omens? We accept these omens. All right. The mighty kindred we have given to you. And you have given us these omens in return. Fill my waters and fill each and every one of our waters with the omens we have just heard. Fill them with answers and the communications from the ancestors. Fill them with the era and the harvest and the cycles of nature from the land spirits. Fill them with Burkano, new beginnings and birch from the shining ones. Each and every one of our waters filled with these blessings. Behold the waters of life. Behold the waters of life. And now, I thank all of those who have aided us. Shiny ones, be you our patrons and matrons, be you of this earth, or be you watching over us but unknown to us. For all that you have done for us tonight, shining ones, we thank you. Shining ones, we thank you. To the land spirits, be our animal kin, our plant kin, or the unseen kin. For all that you have done for us tonight, land spirits, we thank you. Land spirits, we thank you. And to all the ancestors, be you our family, our chosen family, or of this very earth, for all they have done for us tonight. Ancestors, we thank you. Ancestors, we thank you. And 
gatekeepers. You've opened the ways once more, taken our message far and wide, and allowed us to work in safety. For all that you've done for us tonight, gatekeepers all, we thank you. Gatekeepers all, we thank you. Now we ask you once more, join your magic with ours in each and every one of our houses, that our wells become but waters, that our fires become but flames, let our trees become but trees once more. Let the gates be closed. Let the gates be closed. And last but not least, Earth Mother, without you we would not be here. For all you do for us every day, for all you've done for us tonight, we cannot say thank you enough. But for now, Earth Mother, we thank you. Earth Mother, we thank you. And go now, children of Earth, wisdom and peace. This right has ended.